Hi everybody, you are watching Vitrolias, my name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to apply the golden ratio grid to make the logo shine like this diamond. We are gonna create the geometric simple logo by using the golden ratio grid. And this logo was a part of the real uh, world uh, project. So let's start by using um, Ctrl N or Command N to bring up the new document panel and I'm gonna size this uh, document with 1920 by 1080 pixels. Click uh, create and let me copy uh, my uh, colors on this new artboard. So let's start by designing the golden ratio grid. Uh, it's very easy. You need to head over to the rectangle grid tool and hold left mouse button key to bring up this menu. Then select rectangle grid tool. So rectangle tool icon hold left mouse button key and then grab the rectangle grid tool. If you can find your rectangle grid tool, click on the ellipsis edit toolbar and uh, select it from this list. Okay, so with your rectangle grid tool selected, hit once on the empty portion of your canvas. To bring up the rectangle grid tool options, let's keep this uh, size right now because I want to leave it as a default width and height by 100 pixels and uh, head over to this horizontal dividers um, number field and set it to zero then go to vertical dividers number field and set it to one so we have uh, only two portions and one divider right and we need to set uh, their relation between them so i want to set their skew value to 61.8 which is golden mean two portion will be related to each other by golden mean. You understand? Click OK. Let me see what is going on. Uh, we have this uh, golden ratio grid and I want to introduce the uh, stroke and boost the uh, stroke width to, for everybody to see what is going on with my grid. OK, so let's grab the rulers right now. Control R, Command R to introduce the rulers and uh, I want to grab the horizontal guide and then select both by drawing marquee the guide and the grid and head over to this aligning options before we start aligning i want to uh, set the align to artboard options by clicking this icon and reducing this drop down now select vertical align center to align them vertically to the artboard now i want to grab the vertical guide and again draw a marquee around the guide and the grid and uh, align horizontal align center to align the both horizontally. Uh, finally I want to grab this grid again and duplicate it with, by uh, using Ctrl C, Ctrl F or Command C, Command F on your mark and I want to shrink it down a little bit and rotate it holding shift key. Okay. I rotated my uh, rectangle and so what we have is narrow rectangle on the left and two equal uh, rectangles on the right and in the center. I want to draw a marquee again to select them both. Uh, as you can see on my last panel both of them are selected and I want to head over uh, to the view guides and make guides. Finally I want to select all of my guides go again to the view guides log guides okay so we now gonna create the um, diamond with the pen tool so grab the pen tool head over to this intersect and then to this intersect all of our lines will collide on this top intersection then grab another one Okay, so far so good. Now let's draw a marquee to select them all and uh, head over to the um, reflect tool or click O on your keyboard. With your reflect tool selected, hold Alt or Option key on your keyboard and head over to the basement of your triangles and click left mouse button key to bring up the reflect panel. Set the axis to horizontal and click copy to make the reflection. Finally, I want to grab this again and narrow down my artwork. 
Okay, uh, from this point we can first rotate it holding shift key because I want to make this narrow point on the right and these equal points on the left. Okay, so far so good. Let's uh, make uh, select them both and use shift X uh, to swap uh, fill and stroke and grab the airdropper tool or click I and uh, this is a small tip for you. Uh, when your airdropper tool selected, hold control or command on your mark to temporarily switch to selection tool. And this is exactly what we need. I want to first click on the empty portion to deselect everything. And now I want to select this right scene. Release my uh, control key to introduce again the airdropper tool. Then hold my control or command key to uh, switch back to the selection tool and do it several times by picking up these colors. You can find these colors on the description or on vitorias.net article. Okay, so uh, this looks awesome. And uh, what I uh, want right now is to hide my guides. So go to the view, guides, hide guides. Let's switch to the uh, direct selection tool or click A on your keyboard and draw a marquee around the middle points to select all middle points. And now I want to get rid from the, these points, this and this, holding shift key. So I want to deselect the points on the side. So only the middle one, the center points are selected right now. And I want to push a little bit these points up. Maybe you will tell me that it will disrupt our golden ratio mean, but in the other way it uh, introduces a little bit more of uh, 3d uh, and uh, gives a little bit more character to this design okay so i almost done let me grab the text and give uh, give you the information about the uh, font i'm using i using a bunch lift uh, semi bold bunch lift semi bold you can find again the link in the description and I want to put it like this. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was very short and uh, to the point tutorial. Uh, if you think so, give a like, subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends. As always, don't forget to visit tutorials.net for more graphic designer and Adobe Illustrator tutorials. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.